Hi, my name is Rhonda Roberts and welcome to TAD TV. We are in Ridgetown, Ontario and we stumbled across this little jewel in a park close by to my relative's home. It is called Stennett Park and what it is, it's a place where you and your family can get out and get active. Many Ontario communities are starting to think of different or alternative ways to get their citizens active. And here we are in the town of Richtown, and we have found this amazing outdoor fitness center. So instead of having to go to the gym, these are other ways that you can actually get people to start participating and becoming fit. So I'm going to take you through a couple of the things that they have here. Don't laugh. <laughs> so here we have the parallel bars. And on the actual bar here, they've given you instructions on how to use the materials. But I decided that I would just come and do what I felt I would like to do. So here we have the parallel bars. I will demonstrate to you my way of using the parallel bars. So supporting using that upper back, sliding the shoulders down, and then lifting the legs up and back down, using your lower abdominals, but also thinking about your rhomboids and your lower trapezius to keep the shoulders away from your ears. So this is the plank jump bar, and the idea is to jump up and off and up and off to stimulate your quadricep muscles, your hamstrings, and your glutes. So I'm gonna give this a try. So jumping up and jumping jumping up, jumping. Each time trying to land in a squat. <laughs> and I'm going to get my daughter to do this one. Yeah. So you're going to come to the push-up bar. Come down on this side of shoe. That's it. And shift your body forward. So really when you do push-up, you want to make sure that your arms are over the bar, that your abs are lifted, and your head is lifted. Then you're going to bend at your elbows, and then push back up through your chest. Again, bend at your elbows and push back up on the chest. Bend at the elbows and push back up through the chest. One more time, shift your weight. Bend at the elbows and push back up. What I really loved about this park is how it gelled so nicely with the Tab Fitness philosophy. You against your body. Your body is the motor for these machines. Oh, excuse me. You caught me stretching on the stretcher, which is another wonderful piece of equipment to help you feel a little bit more of a stretch. There's lots of other great things here at the outdoor park, the outdoor fitness center. Um, and one of those is the tricep dip bar. You have the air walker as well as a bicycle to help you get fit. What a wonderful concept to have in a park where you have the option of playing, where your kids can be playing, and you can actually get yourself a little workout at the same time. I'm giving this a thumbs up. Getting back into fitness routine after a long summer can be very difficult. So one of the things that I like to do to help me motivate my whole entire body is combine a sequence of movements to get my whole body pumping. So what I'm gonna do is start out with the walkout. Following that, we're gonna go into some squats. We're gonna go back into some rowing from a plank position. And then we're gonna continue with some lunges. This gets your whole body moving and gets you really sort of back and in tune with all those muscles. It's a great thing that you can do at home. You don't need to go to a gym. And what I'm hoping it'll do is it'll get you motivated to get back out there and get moving again. All you really need is a mat to get started. Standing with your feet, hip width apart, shoulders are down your back. You're gonna engage the movement of the walkout by drawing the belly button towards your spine and propelling your body forward. Walk all the way out, shoulders slide down your back as you go and keep your ribs in your body and hold here. You're gonna give me four little tickles. One, push, two, keeping the neck nice and long, three, push, four, good. Come all the way back. Let go of the floor halfway. Use your abdominals and roll all the way up. Take your arms above your head. Ribs stay in your body. Sit down in that squat. Good. So the reason why I have the arms above my head, it's a little bit more challenging, 
But if you're feeling like you're not there, hands can come across from your chest. When you squat, you want the weight to be more in the heels and not in your toes. Good, come down into that squat. Tip forward, walk all the way out. Hands stay narrow, wide legs. You're still in plank. Push away from the floor and lift the right arm and come down. Now what you wanna feel is your hips staying square. And as you lift your arm, you wanna feel the opposite oblique on the other side lifting to help keep you square. Tummy stays in, ribs stay in. Walk all the way back. Let go of the floor, rolling all the way up, taking the arms down by your side, right foot is forward, take the arms up. Bring the back leg in, take the arms up. Back leg in, take the arms up. Back leg in. Now as you're bringing the leg in, you're squeezing underneath that cheek on the right. Squeeze. Good, and just using your arms really gets your body pumping instead of just having them down by your side. It also lets you focus on your middle and balancing. Good, standing at the back of the mat. Scoop and come forward. Walk all the way out. One more time, give me another tickle. One, push, two, push, three, push, four. Walk all the way back. Rolling all the way up. Take that left foot forward. Tummy is in, hips are nice and square. Coming down, exhale, push. Use that left leg. Coming down, exhale, push. Squeeze underneath that left cheek. Coming down, nice two 90 degree angles. And coming down, squeeze. I'm just gonna turn it aside so you can see. Coming down, two 90 degree angles. Squeeze, using those abdominals and those cheeks. Feel that left glute, squeeze, yes. Straight down, squeeze. One more time, squeeze. Good, standing at the back of the back. One more round of rows, belly button goes in, come forward, walk all the way out. Hands are narrow, feet are wide. Draw the navel in, lift and lift. Good. Try to notice how I keep my hips nice and square and I push away from the floor rather than thinking about lifting my arm. Tummy is in. Walk all the way back. Let go of that floor. Using your abdomen. Coming all the way up. Excellent. Get out there and do something today, guys. Have a good one. Thanks so much for tuning in to TAP TV.